A. So let's solve this problem. So finding the inverse of A functions. And these are the steps in finding the inverse of A function. So from this given function, first, replace f of x with y. So this f of x becomes y then equals 7x then plus 4. Then interchange x and y. So this y becomes x equals this x becomes y then plus 4. Then solve for new y. So to solve for y, transpose this positive 4. So that becomes negative 4 then equals 7y. And to solve for y, divide both sides by positive 7. So therefore, y is equal to x minus 4 over 7. Then the last one, replace the new y with the inverse of f of x. So this becomes the inverse of f of x equals x minus 4 over 7. So this is now the inverse of the given function. Then for this given, so again, replace this f of x with y equals 3 over 2x minus 7. Then interchange x and y. So this y becomes x equals 3 over this x becomes y then minus 7. Then to solve for y, so we're going to use a cross multiplication. So we need to put a denominator 1, then multiply. So that becomes x times 2y minus 7, then equals 1 times 3, that's 3. Then simplify, so this x times 2y, that's 2xy. And x times negative 7, that's negative 7x, then equals positive 3. Then again, to solve for y, so we need to transpose this negative 7x. So this becomes 2xy equals this negative 7x becomes positive 7x, then plus 3. And to solve for y, so divide both sides by 2x, divide by 2x, so cancel this 2x, so therefore we have y equals 7x plus 3 over 2x. Then the last one, replace the new y with the inverse of f of x, so this becomes the inverse of f of x equals 7x plus 3 over 2x. So this is now the inverse of the given function. Then for this given, so again, replace this f of x with y. So this becomes y then equals x minus 3 over 3x plus 5. Then interchange x and y, so this y becomes x equals this x becomes y, then minus 3 over 3 times y, then plus 5. Then using cross multiplication to solve for y, so put denominator 1, then cross multiply, so this becomes x times 3y plus 5, then equals 1 times y minus 3, that's y minus 3. Then distribute this x, so x times 3y, that's 3xy, and x times 5, that's positive 5x, then equals y 
minus 3. Then to solve for y, so we need to group all y at one side. So since this one is y, so we need to transpose this y. So this becomes 3xy. So positive y becomes negative y, then equals. We need to transpose this positive 5x. So that becomes negative 5x, then minus 3. Then to solve for y, so we need to put this y outside. So we have y. So this becomes 3x. So we can cancel this y. Then minus and y divide by y. This is 1. Then equals negative 5x then minus 3. Then to solve for y, so divide both sides by 3x minus 1. So divide by 3x minus 1. So cancel this 3x minus 1. So we have y equals negative 5x minus 3 over 3x minus 1. Then replace this y with the inverse of f of x. So we have the inverse of f of x equals negative 5x minus 3 over 3x minus 1. So this is now the inverse of the given function. Then for this given, so again, replace this f of x with y equals 5x plus 3 over 3x plus 1. Then interchange x and y. So this y becomes x equals this x becomes y over this x becomes y then plus 1. And to solve for y, so over 1, then cross multiply. So we have x times 3y plus 1, then equals 1 times 5y plus 3. Then simplify, so distribute, that's 3xy and x times 1, so plus x equals 5y plus 3. Then we need to group all y at one side. So we need to transpose this 5y to the left side. So this becomes 3xy and this positive 5y becomes negative 5y then equals transpose this positive x becomes negative x, then plus 3. Then to solve for y, so we need to put this y outside. So we have y, so this becomes 3x, so cancel this y, minus cancel this y, that's 5. Then equals negative x plus 3. And to solve for y, so divide both sides by 3x minus 5. So 3x minus 5, so cancel. So therefore, y is equal to negative x plus 3 over 3x minus 5. Then replace the new y with inverse of f of x. So the inverse of f of x equals negative x plus 3 over 3x minus 5. So this is now the inverse of the given function. Then for this given, so if a function contains a radical, so again, first, Replace f of x with y and equals the square root of 2x plus 4. 
then interchange x and y so this y becomes x equals the square root of 2 and this x becomes y then plus 4 then to solve for y so first we need to omit this radical by squaring both sides so put a square on x and put a square on this equation with radical so this time we have now x squared equals so we can omit now this radical so we have 2y plus 4 and to solve for y so transpose this positive 4 so we have x squared minus 4 equals 2y then divide both sides by positive 2 so therefore y is equal to x squared minus 4 then over 2 then replace down a ui with the inverse of f of x so we have the inverse of f of x equals x squared minus 4 then over 2 so this is now the inverse of this equation then for this given for the cube root of a function so first we need to replace f of x with y then equals the cube root of x minus 5 then interchange x and y so this y becomes x equals the cube root this x becomes y then minus 5 and to solve for y we need to omit this cube root by cubing both sides so to the power 3 so this becomes x to the power 3 equals so we can omit now this cube root that's y minus 5 and to solve for y so transpose that negative 5 so we have x to the power 3 plus 5 equals y then replace now this new y with the inverse of f of x so this becomes the inverse of f of x equals x to the power 3 plus 5 so this is now the inverse of this function